I, I brought my master chef Oleshi here. I, I got two left hands, but I can roll dough. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so while Jason is rolling the dough, I'm going to start um, boiling the varanike. Make sure that your water, it always has salt in it. Um, yeah. It's always harder to salt at the end and add what you need and you just gently toss them in. Always make sure that they're double crimped. You never want them to open up. And you bring that to a gentle boil. Well, while Jason's doing the dough, I'm just gonna make the filling. And so here we have already cooked potatoes. I like to keep them whole because I don't want them to be super moist. Because yes. um, huh? I don't want them to pop open. You spend so much time crimping and bringing everything together that if they explode, you get a little bit, of, you know, a little sad and disappointed in your effort. So right into here, I'm just going to add um, my caramelized onions. Mm. Ah, yes. Wow. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the only that's way you can the make thing. them. Flavor. And then yeah. we're going to do, this is our classic filling of our potato filling at Veselka. We use um, farmer's cheese. Always season up, salt and some pepper. Nice. Remember, this is going to go through a cooking process, so some of that um, salinity is going to leave. So you really want to make sure that you're seasoned up. And Jason's doing, look at his fabulous job in cutting. Yay! I'm, not, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. This doesn't happen. So I'm going to show you how to um, crimp a pierogi. You take your filling, about a tablespoon. Yeah, me and Jason are going to switch. About a tablespoon filling. You want to put it smack dab in the center. You want to make sure that none of the filling is touching the edges. Again, I have mentioned that you don't want it to explode. You definitely don't want it to explode. So I take one, put in my hand, use my finger as a fulcrum, and I start to crimp. I like to do three rounds of crimping. And there you go. And then I'm gonna switch back. I'm gonna get my pan hot with some butter. I'm gonna add some caramelized onions. Ah, oh my God, I wish I had this now so, so much. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna just pop in as the finishing touch. Oh, these are lovely so beauties. Lovely. <laughs> Even though hey, I make these all the time. It's chicken peas here, honey. We're gonna have some chicken keef. I, I understand, but I still wish I had that. I know, that'd be good for dessert, for sure. Mm. No, the appetizer, baby. Oh, and mm. dessert. You know, have a sour cherry. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So beautiful, you guys. So I'm gonna plate some up for you right now. One of the favorite ways I like to eat them. Chef, what's your second favorite cuisine? What do you love to cook when you're not making Ukrainian food? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's tough, I'm, right? It is very tough. Like I, like I said, I love, you know, with, with the Veranike, I've made them seasonally, and I like seasonal food. So um, whatever's happening, I love to shop at the farmer's market. That's what inspired yeah, us to make different, too. to make the different Veranike. So here you go, Rachel. This is how we like to serve it. A little dill, 